You've heard that Google Chrome is a memory hog, right? That a fast, efficient browser experience, a myth, while that conventional wisdom is actually nonsense. In this video, I'm going to show you some killer features that will not only allow you to have dozens of tabs open without any memory issues, but also revolutionize how you actually use the Chrome browser, including one that will completely redefine how you watch YouTube videos such as this one. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. I found 10 other amazing Chrome features that are going to seriously upgrade the way you use your browser. Okay, so Chrome has a bit of a reputation of being a memory hog but you can actually do change some settings in Chrome that will make it use less memory on your computer and make it go a bit quicker. To do this, you need to go to the settings menu in Chrome. So three dots in the top right hand corner, click on settings, or you can type in Chrome hyphen slash slash settings into the address bar and hit enter. Once you're on this page, go to performance on the left hand side, and this is where you can control the memory usage by Chrome. It's in this middle section here called memory, and you'll see an option called memory saver. I've got mine on balance. Uh, I think that's the default for most browsers, but if you've got loads of memory uh, that's to spare, you can actually put it onto moderate, and that would make um, Chrome uh, quicker for you. But if you've got not too much memory, you've only got a small amount of memory, you might want to drop it down to maximum, and that will make Chrome quicker for you. What this does is when you've got lots of tabs open across the top, it puts some of them into hibernation mode, so they're not actively being used all the time. It does mean that maybe with those tabs have notifications being delivered to them that you won't get those notifications until you click on the tabs but it is a way of saving memory so if you are struggling with memory have a mess around with these settings and see if one of those helps so on the new tab page it's often overlooked but there's a few settings on here that make chrome really nice so open your, a new tab if you've got a new tab open you should see the google search bar in the bottom right hand corner click on customize chrome this sidebar will now open which will give you some options to uh, customize it to the way you want it um, so you can change the theme you can also select a color that you might want to have your browser in. Just click on any color and it will change to that. Um, but you might also want to turn on follow device colors. So whatever colors you've got on your computer, like whatever wallpaper you've got and stuff like that, Google Chrome will try and follow that and make Google Chrome match the rest of your system. Next one down is Toolbar. And this has got a load of hidden features in it. If you click on Toolbar, you can then toggle on what appears across the top of Google Chrome. So let me just toggle on the Home button and you'll see the Home button has now appeared up there in the top left hand corner. So all you need to do is just toggle these on and off for any features that you use often that you might want a quick access to and you don't have to go through the menu option down the right hand side. Just toggle these on and off and they'll appear in the toolbar across Google Chrome. Next you've got your shortcuts. I always have mine on most visited sites. So these are these shortcuts here that are just underneath the search bar. Um, I always have it on the most visited, but you can flick it to my shortcuts and then you can manually just enter shortcuts that you want to appear there that you use frequently if you don't want it to just be your most visited ones. Then finally, this is a really cool hidden trick. As long as you're using a Google account, you'll be able to show information from your Google account on your new tab screen. So you can toggle on your calendar, your Google Drive, or continue with these tabs. So if you're using tabs somewhere else on another computer that you've got on the same account, you can actually follow them through on here. Uh, but if you toggle them on and off, so like I toggle Google Drive on and off, you can see that it appears. For some reason, my Google Calendar isn't appearing, but hopefully that will appear for you. But it's really handy having quick access to that info whenever you open a new tab. What would a Chrome tips and tricks video be like if I didn't show you the Dino game? Now you might have seen the Dino game, it normally happens when you lose internet connection, but that doesn't happen so often. All you need to do is type in Chrome hyphen slash slash Dino, hit enter, then press space, and the Dino game will start for you. Now the best thing about the Dino game is that it's a great time, great thing to, I'm oh, crap at it, look at that. Um, but it also works on mobile. So if I move it over to mobile, you can go do the same thing. Go to mobile, uh, tap on your phone and it should start playing. If you've got your kid with you and they're annoying you um, and you need them a quick game, there you go. You've got a game there that they can just use and see if they can actually get fat past more than one cacti, which I can, I seem not to be able to do. So here's a feature in Google Chrome. It's gonna blow your mind. It blew my channel manager's mind. He's a YouTube expert, but he didn't know you could do this with YouTube in Chrome. So here I am watching a YouTube video. If I double right click on it, I get this option called picture in picture. Click on it and you'll see that the video has now popped out. And it's not just that. That video will stay popped out even if I go to a different tab. Might wanna catch up on the news. I can still watch that video. I have it in the top right hand corner. Maybe I'm dealing with some emails, but I want the video playing there. And it doesn't stop just there. You can actually minimize Chrome and go and do something else on your computer, run another program or whatever, and that video will just stay there on the top until you click on the back to tab button where it pops back into the tab and carries on seamlessly playing your video, no matter where you are. Now that's worth a subscribe, and you should definitely right click on my video now and try it out. So you're reading an article and something's happened, maybe you've got to go out on the school run, don't worry, you can send the article from Chrome to your mobile so you can carry on reading it while you're waiting to pick up your child from school. All you have to do is right click on the tab, click on send to your device, and as long as your device has Google Chrome installed and it's signed in with the same account, it will appear here 
all you do got to do is click on your phone that's been sent I'm going to minimize this screen now and I'm going to drag in my mobile phone screen you can see a notification has just popped up if I tap on that notification there we go straight into the article that I was reading so while I'm waiting in the car I can carry on reading sometimes you might want to watch a video online with the sound off and of course you need to know what's being said on the screen but you might not have the option for captions on certain videos but Google Chrome has you covered you can put captions on any video anywhere on the internet all you need to do is click on Chrome's menu in the top right hand corner go to settings then go to accessibility and click on live captions that may download a language for you your language once it's downloaded live captions are enabled all you need to do now is close the accessibility window go to a video online let's refresh this video and if we hit the play button we should hopefully see some live captions down at the bottom of the screen so I have noticed one thing with YouTube it doesn't start them straight away you've got to turn the volume on Signal for a split power. second turn it off and there you go now the live captions have kicked in these live captions are quite similar to the other trick I showed you in the video in that these live captions you can put them anywhere you like and you can actually minimize or go to a different browser window and the um, live captions will stay on top until you decide to close them so that's how you get live captioning for any video online through Google Chrome in Google Chrome you obviously have your tabs open especially the tabs you use a lot and there's two ways of managing these you can put them in a thing called tab groups or you can pin them I prefer pinning so I just right click on a tab that I use often and hit pin and it just appears on the left here and I can get to it really quickly these will also automatically reload as soon as I open Chrome so if I close Chrome and reopen it all my pinned tabs will reappear but there's also the other way that I mentioned called tab groups and this is where you can create a category and put these um, tabs into that category and all you want to do is click on the category name and it'll open them really quickly I'll show you how you do that now so right click on your first one click add to new tab group give it a name I'll we'll go with social on this one and then just uh, next tab just right click on it and say add to group social and the next one so just do this all the uh, tabs that you want to appear in that tab group um, and now you can do this you can minimize and maximize them all in one go by tapping on the social button um, you can also close the uh, the tab the group so let's close the group the groups now vanished completely but you'll see my address bar I mean my book sorry <laughs> you'll see my bookmark bar that I've now got one called social if I click on that all those websites will open really quickly um, so it's just an easier way to get to those websites you want to use more frequently um, like I said I prefer pinning but if tab groups are your thing that's how you do it so this is a great feature inside Google Chrome it's called Google Lens and it lets you look at images and find out about them so say for example you want to see these trainers and you want to know more about them all you have to do is click in the address bar and down at the bottom of the address bar you'll have this option that says ask Google about this page click on that and then just draw around what you're interested in and watch what happens on the sidebar tells me everything about those trainers that I'm looking to get and you can do this on anything so any image you see online just do that and you'll get a whole load of information about them more images click throughs to places that are selling them all that kind of stuff how easy and fantastic is that for finding info in Google Chrome there's a QR code generator so you don't need to use any dodgy websites to generate QR codes you can do it directly in Chrome just go to the website that you want to create a QR code for maybe your business website as I'm doing here click on the three dots in the top right hand corner then go down to cast save and share and you'll see an option here called create QR code click on that there's your QR code now of course this is branded in Google Chrome so it's got the uh, dino the dinosaur in there that you see when a web page doesn't load properly um, so if you do need to get your own branding then you will have to use another service but if you're more than happy with the QR code that's generated inside Google Chrome either hit copy to copy the code or download it and give it to whoever you want to but that's how you can create a QR code to a website inside Google Chrome here's a fun little tip inside Google Chrome so say you've got a website that you go to often do you want to have an icon for it on your taskbar or your dock in Mac it's easy to do just keep an eye on the website and if it pops up with this little icon in the top right hand corner of the address bar click on it and you can actually install it so if I click install what's happened now is you can see that Instagram has now popped out into its own window um, I've actually got an icon down on my taskbar for it and if I click on it um, Instagram will open in its own window rather than a whole uh, Google Chrome instance you've got your own little window for it and it will just be Instagram so you can do that on many sites you can actually do it on sites that don't have the uh, option to install and I'll show you how to do that right now so here we are on the login page for the Xero website now the Xero accounting software website doesn't let you install it but you can do it we need to do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner go to cast save and share and then click on install pages app click install and the same thing will happen I'll get the zero logo or whatever the 
icon is in, in yeah. for the for the website appear on my taskbar or dock and i can click on that and it will just open the zero website in its own little window as, as it did with instagram when i just showed you that anyway i'm james i'm the founder of kimberly it if you enjoyed this video do give it a like and subscribe and if you'd like to find out more about using google chrome in your business get in contact we specialize in it support for small to mid-sized businesses that are running on google workspace and of course chrome is very important to that so if you want to find out more feel free to book a video call with me there's a link in the description below and i'd love to chat to you Thanks again. I hope you look forward to seeing me in the next video.